The Supreme Court will tomorrow hear the appeal by 12 citizens' coalition for change aspiring MPs who were blocked from taking part in the August 23 election because their nomination papers were filed light. A three-panel bench chaired by Justice Antonio Gowawa set the hearing for Wednesday following a case management meeting with the legal teams representing both parties. The 12 were disqualified following an application by ZANU-PF activists styling themselves as registered voters. The ZANU-PF activists argued that C candidates filed their nomination papers after the 4 p.m. deadline on June 21. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission had opposed the applications, insisting that the 12 filed on time. Triple C candidates had opposed the application, arguing that the High Court had no jurisdiction to hear and determine the matter, a position they maintain in their appeal. They said the application was a review disguised as a declarator, adding that ZANU-PF activists had no local standing legal interest in the matter. However, Blawayo High Court Judge Justice Wangani Tlovu delivered the judgment on Thursday ruling that the 12 had filed their papers late. In the Supreme Court appeal, the 12 are seeking a relief that the court declines jurisdiction over the matter with costs at the high scale of legal practitioner and own client being paid by the applicants jointly and severally the one paying the other to be absorbed. Triple C candidates will file their heads by the end of Tuesday and the respondents will file their heads. The hearing will be at 2 p.m. on Wednesday. The 12 won the application by ZANU-PF activists dismissed with cost at the higher scale of legal practitioner and own client being paid by the applicants jointly and severally, the one paying the other to be absorbed. So this is what is happening in the matter between the 12 candidates and Sano PF. It seems as if the matter rages on and this is also stored the uh, printing of ballot papers. Now we are waiting to see on Wednesday what will happen. Will this uh, ruling be maintained which is being speculated by a lot of people given that the Supreme Court upheld Savior Kasukwere's ban from the election. A lot of people are saying that this judgment is just will just follow suit in that um, manner. They will be banned and will be stopped from contesting. Nelson Jamisa has commented on this uh, development. He called it a coup on the ballot by the president, Emerson Mnangagwa. He accused Mnangagwa of weaponizing the law against uh, opponents, especially against the triple C candidates, as well as that of Savia Kasukwe, who is since appealed at the highest court on the land, which is the Constitutional Court. And the Constitutional, the Constitutional Court is hearing the matter to determine whether or not the Supreme Court judgment will also be appealed.